Ukraine says the evacuation of civilians from the Azovstal steelworks in Mariupol, the last remaining Ukrainian stronghold in the city, marks a turning point. Russia has besieged the plant for weeks, demanding the surrender of its defenders from the Azov battalion. In other developments, intense fighting is continuing in the Kharkiv region of Ukraine as troops attempt to regain control of the area from the Russians. It comes after Ukraine's armed forces claim they are taking five villages northeast of the country's second largest city. Four missiles have hit the port city of Odessa, with locations around the airport targeted and radar equipment destroyed. No casualties have been reported. And air-launched Russian missiles have also hit two locations in Sumy, a city in northern Ukraine near the Russian border. In Kyiv, the mayor's office has released videos showing the damage wrought on buildings as a result of strikes around the Ukrainian capital. According to officials, more than 200 residential buildings, 46 schools and 30 kindergartens have been damaged in strikes on Kyiv since Russia's invasion on February the 24th. And finally, Russian forces have taken part in a rehearsal in Moscow's Red Square for the country's Victory Day parade. President Vladimir Putin will lead celebrations on Monday, marking the 77th anniversary of the Soviet Union's victory over Nazi Germany, brandishing Russia's vast firepower. The annual military parade in Moscow's Red Square has a new significance this year as Russian forces continue their two-month assault in Ukraine.